What's up everybody? Good morning. Today's going to be a little bit different. It is a, almost 9 a.m. when the thrift store is open where I live. We're going to try to hit about nine thrift stores today. I'm going to take you with me to each one, see how much stuff we get, and probably go over some stuff that you shouldn't really get. So in about two minutes, I'm going to take you in here. Let's go thrifting. So when I come to Myth Thrift, I always love looking at the new carts. You guys know that. So let's see what we have on these carts. So I just found these Tommy Bahama shorts and they're pure linen, but the problem is the size isn't great and these shorts without cargoes, they don't do really well for $3.99, so I'm going to pass on these. Here's an example of something new with tags. Just because it's new with tags does not mean pick it up. This frame retails for $13 bucks and they're asking $5. It's not worth it. Pass. I also definitely like looking at these hard good cards just because you never know what you're gonna mm -hmm. find. You find American Girl dolls and different knives like Cutco and stuff sometimes. Mm -hmm. But um, since I deal with antiques and stuff, I noticed that Goodwills pull all this stuff away. So they put it on their shopgoodwill.com. So I usually don't find a whole lot on these hard good cards. So I saw this Ed Hardy toast bag. It looks like it's brand new with tags, or it might have been a gift if you bought $70 or more. It's five bucks. I'm gonna look up the comps and see what they go for. So I found these shoes I've never found before. I think they're called kick -its. I think I've seen them online. They're 20 bucks. I, I looked up the comps. They look like they sell around 50 or more in used condition, and these guys look brand new. So I'm gonna pick these up for 20 and try to get 50 out of them. Now here are some women's Nike shorts. These used to be $3.99 a piece at this store and all of the ones around me. They priced them all up to 10 bucks a piece. You can literally sit on your couch at home and get these for about $11 shipped. So definitely not worth it for me. These will probably end up at the Goodwill bins. They need to quit with their pricing everything up. Now here's something, being in the women's section, sometimes you find men's clothes. They marked it as a four for women's at $1.99, which is crazy. But actually, it's a size 31 men's, and also it's their island short. So I'm gonna pick these up. They also have a cotton spandex blend, so they're pretty popular with the hit right on the back. Those are for sure pick up for two bucks. Now here we go. This is my bread and butter brand right here. I don't make a ton off these shirts, but they started pricing them up at 10 bucks again. This store is just out of control with the pricing, so I'm not gonna mess with these. I'm gonna check out of here with just these two items, 20 bucks plus $2, but I'll get my 10% off, so I'll probably end up spending just about $20 on the dot for these two items. With that being said, I think I expect to get maybe about $70 out of both of them. All right, so we're out of there. I just talked to some of my friends. You guys know I'm friendly with everyone at these stores when I go live. So I spent $21 on those two items. I think I can get 70. That's store number one, off to two. All right, guys, store number two. I was doing some thinking while I was driving. That store, I would have probably spent an extra $50 in, but because everything's so overpriced, I didn't. And a lot of those tags are probably going to be purged next week, which means they're going to go to the outlet. So that $50 that I would have spent will probably turn into about $3 for someone. So Goodwill, you need to stop raising those prices. Let's go on in. So this is one of my favorite stores to go in. Uh, it's kind of in a low-key part of town. You can see I'm going down the aisles. There's really not a lot of people in here. So usually I don't have to be rushed and compete with the other thrifters. So we'll find some stuff hopefully. If not, we'll go to the next. So they just rolled out this new cart. I'm going to look through it. So if you see a lot of brands that I pass up on, just know that those aren't brands that I pick up. Like, uh, that's a kid's Adidas. But when it comes to scrubs, let's see if these are fakes. They're not, they're just Scrub Studio, not a really good brand. So I'm not gonna pick those up. Uh, also like these tanks, I don't even buy Lululemon tanks anymore, just because they don't sell like they used to. Tarte, I never heard of Tarte. Again, I'm learning women's clothing and it's really tough for me because they make so many and the styles change so quickly. So if I know something's on trend, I make sure I list it right away. I'm not seeing a whole lot on this cart. Fortnite, stuff like that. Um, I look, they always have just a little bit of men's. That's kind of how thrift stores are, right? So you have all this women's, a little bit of kids, and that little bit of men's way over there, a little teen bit. Definitely don't buy Kirkland. So this is also good for learning the stuff I don't buy. But I'm definitely going to hopefully find some stuff. Jaguar, I've never heard of those. I wonder if that's the car. Um, I don't know. Never heard of Jaguar. I might have to look those up. All right, let's head over to the actual section. Also, I don't really look at purses too much. I know there's a lot of money there, but I don't want to mess with fakes, especially with my account online. I don't want someone to get upset. So this store is pretty empty. They only rolled out that one cart. 
And the, let's see, these Hoka shoes I looked at, they're all tattered up. Usually Hoka's a really good brand, especially if the bottoms are good. But since it's all tattered up right there, I'm not gonna get it. I also found this Hugo Boss orange. Hugo Boss can be good, but it's gotta say Hugo Boss on it. It's got, if someone wears this, they're not gonna see that. And they want people to know they're wearing Hugo Boss. So for five bucks, I'm gonna pass on that. You can see most of the brands in here aren't that great. Good fella, Port Authority, all that Croft and Barrel. None of that stuff's really good for reselling. It might be good to wear, Michael Kors, but I don't buy this stuff to resell. It's been slow. I'm gonna probably get out of this store and go to the next. So this is store number two, off to store number three. Hey, sun's still shining. I know we're three stores in. Only found two items so far, but that's okay. That's the way thrifting goes. You just gotta keep pushing through. Again, today we're gonna try to hit as many as possible. Uh, this is store number three. We're gonna go in there and I know we're gonna find some goodies here. You just gotta stay positive. Let's go on in. All right, so here's the first piece in this store. It's a Patagonia little like Kaplan shirt, but it's got this nice little zipper right here. So I think it's definitely fishing. You can see it's like a fly fishing logo. No tears, no rips. Little spot there that I can probably get out. It's probably actually just a little uh, Febreze spot. They just put this out. So for five bucks, I'm gonna pick this up. I'll probably get 25 out of it. Okay, so right next to it was this brand Spider. This used to be a for sure pickup for me years ago, but now they sell it at Costco. So they kind of sold out. The only time I get Spider is if it's like legit ski wear that is thick, that they wear skiing or snowboarding down the hill. So these sweaters and sweatshirts I pass up on all the time just because the market's flooded and they sell them at Costco for 20 bucks. So who's gonna buy views for 20? So I just found this AG New with Tags women's jacket. It's $5.99. I looked at the comps. I think I can get $35 or $40 out of this. So I'm going to pick that up. Right behind it was this Max Studio leather jacket. I know the price says $98 new, but I just looked up sold comps. They sell for about $35. So that's not bad, but the sell-through is really bad. So they only they had like 100 listed and only 20 sold. So I'm going to pass up on this leather jacket. I'm going to pick this one up. All right, here's another good shirt. So I don't know. So I looked at it at first. It looks like a Harley Davidson tag I've never seen. It has this cool stitching. And then I saw it has single stitch here, which makes me think it's vintage, and single stitch here. But I wasn't sure because this looks pretty new. So I looked down at the tags underneath. Uh, the tags look kind of old, but then when I looked at the year it was made, it was made in 2018. So it definitely, just because it has a single stitch, it does not mean that it is old and made in the USA, see, made in India. But I am gonna pick this up for $1.99. This will still sell. So now that I found that AG jacket in the middle right here, that new with tags, plus that Mac Studios, I'm thinking they might have some other things around the women's section new with tags. So I'm gonna take a good look through the women's section, see if I find any other good brands like that new with tags. So here's a cart they just rolled out. And when I was talking about new with tags, I was not talking about this $12.99 boo-boo stuff. So look, $11.99. Why would someone buy it used when you can buy it new for $11.99? So get out of here with all that. I'm still looking for other good stuff. Let's find the goodies. All right, here's a new cart they just rolled out. So let's go through it. Old Navy, that's a no-go. We have Route 21, no-go, Casper, no. So this is what's going on sometimes. Sometimes you just don't hit it. Indiana Pacers is the best basketball team. Actually, they're not good, but they're my favorite. CJ Bangs, no. Just not a lot of whole good stuff, but you never know. Keep on looking down it. Um, they just rolled this out. So there you go. There's a Under Armour 2XL. Good size. That's in good condition for five bucks. I usually get 20 out of these plus buyer pay shipping. So I'm gonna pick that up. So that's four things so far. Let's keep looking through it. So store number three, we got a few things. This Harley shirt, AG new with tags, polo by Under Armour, 2XL, it's a good size, and this Patagonia with a zip pocket. Everything here I'm gonna spend probably less than $20 for, and I'm thinking I'll get around $70 for all of it, profit. All right, here we are, thrift store number four. We got some good stuff. So took two stores to get some good things. That's why I always say you gotta keep hitting them. Don't get discouraged. 
I'm actually gonna go live on this thrift store thrift. So I'll still show you at the end what I get. Hopefully we'll get some good stuff. Let's go. All right, so we came in here. We saw my boy who sells vintage stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna get this um, Under Armour, yeah, five bucks long. again. I can get around 20 Two, for that. Three, five, six. And this dry fit, um, Nike, usually I can do well, but they price it up at five bucks. So I'm not gonna get that. So again, just one thing at this store, but that's okay. Five bucks into 20, I'll take it all day long. What do you say? All right, at it again. It's not even noon. This is our fifth thrift store that we're going to, and we'll take you in there. I went live at the last one. We only found one thing, but that's all right. We keep hitting them. I know we're gonna hit something today. If not, we always have tomorrow. Let's go on in. All right, so I'm looking through the jeans, and this is one of the only pairs I pick up that are regular fives. These are five sixties, and they have the old tag on them. They're really good size, 38 by 34, 7.99. I can turn those into probably 30 bucks plus buyer pay shipping. And they have these new with tags, 550s. Normally I wouldn't pick up 550s, but again, 38, 34 for eight bucks. That's a no brainer. I'm gonna pick both of them up. All right, so I just ran across these Peter Millar and these are a super good size. They have the super good material, 38 by 34. I picked them up, looked them over. The only problem is, see this black mark down here? I think I can get that out. And for five bucks, I think I'm gonna get these cause I could probably flip these into 40, $42. So here are some shoes I normally pick up. They're called Z coils. They have this coil on the bottom, but for $20, they are crazy at this Goodwill. That's all right, I'll put them behind. But again, Z coils are a brand to keep your eye out for. <laughs> all right, just for into my boy, Jack Thrifts. He's on Instagram, Jack Thrifts on Instagram. He does all vintage. He's like the vintage guru. So when I pick up vintage stuff, I just throw it his way. When he pick up the new stuff that's like Lululemon or whatever, he just throws it my way. So networking pays off. All right, as you can see, I always talk about my friends who buy vintage stuff. I just ran into him. I give him stuff and he gives me stuff. So he just gave me a bag full of Lululemon and Chubbies and all sorts of cool stuff. And I gave him some vintage clothing that he sells on his Depop and at his booth. So I did just get two pairs of Levi's. The um, Peter Millar pants were just too stained and time is money. So I'm not gonna spend time on those. Bought these for $18 probably sell both of them for around 60 total so i'll probably net maybe about 30 dollars of profit let's see at the next one so i'm here about to get my lunch at the circle k i do every day i'll show you what i get in a little bit right here behind me they have an anti-bullying like suicide prevention uh stand that i i donate to uh, mental health is huge for everyone so make sure you take good care of your mental health we all have our struggles we've all gone through hard times so take care of your mental health give if you can i'll show you what i got to, for lunch here in a second all right, so here's what I have for lunch every single day. It is a protein shake, which actually keeps me full until dinner. And I also drink, as you know, go-go juice. So shout out Monster. One day you're gonna come up with Surf's Up Fine's energy drink, and it's gonna be the best flavor ever. As soon as you contact me, I'm telling you, I have the best flavor for you. But anyways, going on to the next store, gonna drink this on the way there because time is money. See you soon. All right, my tum tum's full. Got my go-go juice. I'm ready for store number six, I believe we're on. So we're gonna go in here, see what we can find. Let's go. So I just rolled out this new cart. Right away, I saw this Vineyard Vines Performance quarter zip for five bucks. So that is it for sure. That will sell for $32 plus shipping. And already I can see, I'm gonna keep going. But this is Vineyard Vines on the go shorts. They're like, they're um, golf shorts. They're super good. They sell really quickly for me. $3.99, size 38. Again, another good size. That will be another $30 sale plus buyer patient. So here's a pair of True Religion. It has the buttons on both sides. Um, I know they're not jeans or corduroys, and you can always tell usually if they're authentic if they have the little logo on the inner rivets. Um, $7.99, I'm going to pick those up. Probably sell them for $35 plus. Also, they have these AG but I only pick up the jeans usually nowadays with the khakis. They are the graduate, which I do like. Um, they also have some Bonobos pants. I just don't do as well with the pants anymore, so I'm not gonna pick those up. So over here, looking through the men's polos, they have Hugo Boss, which I'm not a big fan unless it says Hugo Boss on it, but they also have more green tags, which tell me there's new. There's a new brand, Oliver Ridley. I just looked up the comps. They sell for about $20, $24 for these pre-owned, so I think I'm gonna pick that one up. And also, they had this Pima Soft Touch, which these I do my little surf up methods with. I buy them for five, sell them really quickly for like $15 to $17. And it's a good color. I'll take a thumbnail looking like that, pick 
pick that one up. And then, of course, we've been finding these all day today. A uh, Under Armour shirt for five bucks. That's the third one. So we'll be able to list this in about two or three minutes and sell it for about $17 to make that $10 profit. Okay, so this particular thrift store is notorious for pricing up their shoes. Like these Brooks, look how worn out they are on the bottom. They're asking $20. I even see a piece of fur or hair coming off of them. Nasty, come on Goodwill, you're better than that. All right, so people always wanna know what salvage is. This is a perfect example. These are not a great size, but I'll still pick them up. They almost seem like new without tags. But if you find J. Crew pants or jeans, I mean, and you look on the inside, they have a little denim tag right there that means they're salvage a lot of times they'll have the stripes on the bottom this pair doesn't but they are special denim these do always sell for me for about 28 dollars no matter what the size are i will pick these up these are 770 air monarchs you know these run about 50 dollars brand new they're asking 30 dollars this place is insane these are your grandpa shoes I mean, I know I'm a broken record, but look at all these shoes. You can't even put a spot. There's no spot for any shoes because they're all priced up. Look at these flip-flops, $10. Doesn't matter. There's not even one spot for shoes because they're pricing them up. Goodwill, get it together. Okay, so this is what I'm going to walk out of the store with. I'm just going to tell you how much profit I think I can make off these. I think I can make $20 profit off these, $50 off these together. So that's about $70 profit. Another 15, so that's about $85, 10, $95. Another 15, so that's about $110. And then I think I could probably get about $25 off of this. So we're talking over $100 in profit right here at this store. So you see how it all adds up. And out we go, another bag full. We're gonna go to two other thrift stores that are not Goodwill and see if we can snag anything there. Sometimes I have, I found Kooji and Burberry at these two stores, so you never know, let's go find out. What up, what up? I don't even know what number we're on anymore, but this is kind of like a little mom and pop thrift store. Um, they do get donations, so they don't buy their items, but they resell them. And sometimes you can get some really good stuff, but most of the stuff in here is crazy priced. I'll show you what I'm talking about. No, I usually don't even come here. All right, so I might be eating my words, at least for now. Like I said, sometimes I find things in here. These are two Adidas pants and shorts. So I will pick these up for five bucks a piece. I can sell these for around 20 plus. All right, so I'm definitely eating my words. Not only did I find these Foot Joys for $7.99, but they're the athletic fit. Um, and you know that because on the back, they had this little logo right there. Uh, and usually they have a sewn logo right here, but if they have this logo, they're the athletic fit and they're a super unique color. $7.99, I literally sell these for probably $35, $45 plus shipping. All right, here you go. Like I said, high prices. Peter Millar, polo shirt. $45. A no-name Colts player jersey who doesn't even play for him anymore, $35. A used Johnny O Black Hawk shirt, $55. Way overpriced. So after those prices, I think I'm gonna head out of the store. I'm gonna buy these three pairs of golf pants, spend about 15 bucks, and I should profit around $60 on all these. All right, peeps, we're at store number 80 or something but it's a salvation army this store used to be one of my faves i used to get everything here for like 2.99 four dollars COVID hit they lost their employees they don't get donations so it's really hard for me to get stuff here but sometimes you might look out so we'll go on in hopefully i get some stuff and i'll show you along the way let's go See, I'm not spending much time in this store. You can see this place used to be full of racks. All this were racks of clothing. Back there were racks of clothing you can't even see. And it's just empty. They don't have any new racks out. This place has just gone downhill. But look at this. People riding their bikes around here. I don't know what's going on. I'm getting out of here. And another. Here we go. I'm going to go live in this one. But again, at the end, I'll show you everything I got. Uh, it's about 1.30. So... I've been hitting a lot of thrift stores in a short amount of time, and you see how everything kind of racks up, even though this hasn't been a great day in my mind of thrifting as far as getting inventory, but um, it adds up. The, the more places you go, the more you get. You just gotta keep hustling. Let's go. All right, I just did a live. I, I got quite a bit of stuff actually through live, so maybe I should do live more often, which I do all the time. But let me show you what I got, how much I think I'll make. So I found these Mobby jeans. Mobby jeans, they were only $3.99, which obviously they were mispriced. Um, these are Travis Matthews shorts, $3.99. I'll sell these for $20 plus shipping. Bonobos, 
I sell these golf shorts. These are gonna be 20 plus shipping. Um, untuck it, again, 20 plus shipping. And then I bought some gym shark pants for 15 or $5. I think I'd sell these for about 20 plus shipping. Um, I bought a race car for my son and I bought this golf bag. It's like little golf bag thing. People collect these, it's only 10 bucks. So I'm gonna buy this, probably sell it for like 40, I think. I'm not for sure. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, into another one. Same shirt, same hat, same day, same sky. We're going to another one. I don't know. I hope you're keeping count because I'm not. Actually, on my way here, I saw that as mental hair, uh, mental awareness month. And earlier at the gas station, we saw the mental uh, awareness station. So uh, again, make sure your uh, mental health is good. Work out, exercise, spend time for you. I need to do more of that myself. But let's go on into the store store soon. Bye. All right, here we go. Two time Bahama, size large, 100% silk with the Schmincke for print. Ugh. I don't like picking up these Tommy Bahamas, but I guess they sell five bucks a piece. I'll snag them. All right, so in addition to these Tommy Bahama, I found these corduroy pants. I thought they were Polo Ralph Lauren, but they're actually Vineyard Vines. But these are pure red and perfect condition, and these will sell super good, I think, during Christmas time. So I'm gonna pick them up for only five bucks. Green Nike golf shorts, good price, but I checked it out. They had the ball marks, not getting them. Those are like impossible to get out. So those are a pass. All right, so let me show you what I'm getting. I found this polo wrap down short sleeve. I sell these all the time. I list them for like $17. I only pay five, so I make about 10 bucks off of them. Of course, those bright vineyard vines, pants, corduroys that will sell really good in the winter. So I'll probably make like uh, $20 profit off those. And then two Tommy Bahama shirts. I might light them up. They're pure silk, same size. So I'm guessing maybe like, 50-ish dollars profit off these items right here. I'm gonna go check out. Staying in line and that's nasty. So that's going back. So I'm telling you, we are a turbo thrifter around here. Got those items. I talked to the manager about uh, those red corduroys. I said, I just save those and I sell them. They know what I do. I said, I said, I save those for the winter. And she was like, oh my gosh, we're sending all of our winter stuff to the bins. Unless it's new with tags, we send all our winter stuff to the bins. So I'm like, ah, oh, maybe I should go to the bins and look for winter. I don't know. Let's just go to the next store and forget about it. All right, guys, second from last. I know that much. We're still going. Be home soon. Love everybody. Let's go find some goodies. Let's go. I'm so bad with women's stuff. Here's some Spanx. They're like cargo pockets with joggers on the bottom. I have no idea, but I'm gonna have to count these out. Five bucks. I'm probably thinking they're gonna do okay. We'll check it out though. Reporting back to you, these Spanx are for sure go. Five dollars, the comps look super good. Surf's up method, five dollars. Turn it into 17, make ten dollars profit. Yes, sir. So just came across this flannel, it's Barbour. This is a good brand to be on the lookout for for $5. I will hold on to this until the fall and these sell for really good money. Add it to the pile. All right, $15 and they're probably 75 right here. So pretty good profit. I'm gonna check out, go to my last store of the day. And then I'm gonna show you everything I got at the end. All right, last store of the day. Let's do this. Like I said, you go to plenty, you find enough. We'll check out at home. We'll see how much we spent and how much profit I think I'll make after everything we got today. Let's go on in. All right, we got our first hit at the store. $7.99 for these L.L. Bean flannel line jeans. I sell these all fall, all winter. So I'll just say, hold on to these until the winter and fall and these will sell for around 30 bucks or so plus buyer pay shipping. Okay, now this is why you keep pushing through. Last store, we hit it pretty big. Check this out, three blazers right here, $7.99 a piece really nice material miller's oath i've never heard of it looked it up comps were really good right here new with tags linen silk blend super nice brand new with tags that's good and then i found this suit supply with this cashmere wool blend i would call this almost brand new with tags all these three together will probably sell for 300 to 400 dollars combined so there you go all right, so we just left the last thrift. I bought those flannel line jeans, those three blazers, 30 bucks. Those jeans alone will pay for the blazers. We're gonna go home, tally up everything we spent, how many items we got, and how much profit I think I'll make. So right now it's 3 p.m. So we've worked from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. 
It's been a great day. I love thrifting. That's my nine to five. Let's go home, see what we got. See you in a few. So without further ado, let's go over everything I got. So I spent a total, I calculated a total of $190. So I use a business credit card so I can keep track of every single place I spend money and how much I spend. So today I spent a total of $190. Uh, first, I'm going to show you the items that I do the Surf's Up method with, which is basically I make $10 profit. So each one of these items, I'm not going to tell you um, how much I paid all that stuff. We went through that in the videos, but these Under Armour shirts, I make $10 profit on. These Polo Ralph Lauren shirts, they take me two to four minutes to list. So I just pick these up and this Untuck It shirt, I make about $15 on that one. All these right here takes me about two to four minutes to list them and I make $10 profit. So right there alone, that's a decent amount. I only spend maybe 20 minutes um, taking pictures and listing those items. So we've got one pair, two, one pair of shoes today. These Nixit or whatever they're called. I'm not sure exactly. This is the first time I saw them, but they're the type of shoe that they're out right now where they're lace free. You just step in them and step out of them. Um, but the comps look to be like 50 or $60. I paid 20 and they're in like brand new condition. They almost look like Prada on the bottom, but they're not. So here's some the shirts I got that are different values. That barber shirt we just talked about. I won't go over the values um, just because we talked about them in the videos, and I'll tell you at the end how much everything is. Um, that Patagonia, again, everything you saw today I picked up was like around $5. So just think everything I picked up was around $5. That AG um, jean jacket that's women's, new with tags, picked that one up. We got that Vineyard Vines, if you remember, the tour performance. Uh, with the little hit on the back, that was $5. That will be a good seller. That'll be 30 year round. Here's a polo that I know it's backwards for you, but uh, Olivia or Oliver Ridley. Oliver L Ridley, I thought it would be better than it was. It looks like I'll be able to make about $15 profit on that item. And then the good old Tommy Bahama, uh, this purple print. It's pretty nice. I like this one. Um, pure silk, again, $5, probably in a 25 so that's all the shirts I got. Before I go into the other stuff, which would be the pants. Um, remember I told you I ran into my buddy. Um, and so what happens, I think it's good to network with people around town. If you're a reseller or whatever, it's just good to network with people. You guys know I talked to everyone during my live thrifts, during everything. I talked to all the employees at Goodwill. I talked to people I run into. I'm just a talker. I'm friendly. I talk to people. So I befriended one of these thrifters one time. He his lane is vintage items. So whenever I find cool vintage items, I'll shoot him some pictures and he'll be like, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, whatever it is, or don't pick it up. And so then he picks up stuff that I sell that he doesn't want to sell. So this is what I got from him. I gave him a bag of items that I bought for about four or $5. And he gave me a bag of items that he bought for about four or $5 a piece. So this was an extra today. Lululemon men shorts. Another pair of Lululemon men shorts, uh, two pairs of chubby shorts, and like three, there's one women's long sleeve, there's a short sleeve Lululemon, another long sleeve Lululemon, all of those, and this Patagonia hoodie. So that's what he did. He threw me this bag full of this stuff, and I threw him some vintage clothes that he's going to sell online. I decided that Harley shirt that we got earlier today. Um, that's newer, but it looks vintage and it's got the single stitch. This, he'll dig this in his uh, antique booth or probably on Depop. So I'm going to throw this his way. I'm already starting to build a bag. On to the pants. So we got a lot of pants today. And as you know, I'm a, I'm a seasonal seller. So right now it's the springtime going into summer. So anything that's pants, I will just hold off until the fall. I put them in my storage unit and then I'll start listing them that time, that time of year. Um, and people will be looking for that stuff and I'll have tons of it for people to to buy. Um, found these Vineyard Vines, remember, in the women's section. Again, I'm not going to go over um, exactly how much I think I'll make after all these items, but again, I spent 190 on everything. I'll tell you how much I think I'll make at the end. Um, remember these Spanx that we found? The Joggers not too long ago is like the second from the last thrift store. Um, I looked these up. The cops were actually really good on these for five bucks, so those were a uh, no-brainer. Uh, the new tags, Levi jeans, we got the Adidas. We went to the thrift store where they had all the stuff priced up really high, which they did, but they had a few things like these Adidas pants and shorts. And then the Foot Joy Athletic Fit pants. 
this cool color, and they're a good size. Uh, 35, 32, that's a unique size. And on the inside, it'll say athletic fit. So these are like a $40 sell all day. Um, I, I love finding the athletic fit, but Joyce, they do really well. We found the Travis Matthew. We found these Mavi jeans that were mistagged for four bucks. Um, if you remember that earlier in the day, and I'll be able to sell these for probably like 25. And then again, people always ask me what Levi's I pick up. I pick up Silver Tab. I pick up 501s that are made in the USA. And I pick up um, Orange Label with like a black wash. I pick those up and then 560s. So these are 560s like I showed you in the video. Pick these up. These sell for around 30 um, plus shipping. So everything that I sell, I uh, have the buyers pay shipping. So everything, I don't do free shipping for anything unless it's just a pickup, local pickup at my house for a Facebook Marketplace item, like this golf bag that we picked up for nine bucks or 10 bucks. I've already listed on Marketplace when I got my car. I took pictures outside of Goodwill, do it on Marketplace. So I've got these Gymshark pants. Um, I haven't count those out yet, but I'm guessing around $20 those will uh, sell for. Bonobo shorts, again, I only buy like the golf brand Bonobos, uh, shorts, pants, and polos. The LL Bean with the flannel lining. The True Religion corduroy pants. Still will pick these up, especially if they're, you know, eight bucks. I'll pick up the True Religion. Um, the J. Crew. Remember, if you find J. Crew denim, you want to look on the inside and see if they have one of those selvage tags. It'll either say Japanese denim or it will say uh, white cone or white oak denim that's made here in their selvage. Also found these on the go vineyard vine shorts these are again like the polyester wicking kind that they play golf in um, and these will do really well this time of year i'm expecting to get like 25 or 30 out of those and then this awesome pair of corduroy pants these are vineyard vines um, which isn't a great great brand but they're super thick like polo ralph lauren and they'll be super good in the winter time those will do well so also these three, this goes to show you. So during during today, it started off so slow. It was one item here, two items there, three items at the next thrift store, zero at the next thrift store. But then you just keep hitting it. You keep grinding. I've been doing this long enough since 2015 to know that you just got to keep hitting the stores. If you keep hitting them long enough, you're going to get good stuff. So we got all this stuff. And then over here are these blazers that we got at the very last thrift store. And all three of them are at least, I'm going to say conservatively, $100 a piece when I count them out, especially since a couple of them are brand new. So again, we got this blazer right here. And this is the, the suit supply. And it also has the uh, nice blend of cashmere and wool. So that's going to be a good blazer to uh, sell. Again, only 8 bucks. And then we also had this blazer right here, which is a linen silk blend. And again, I would call that new with tags. Um, or maybe new without tags, but this is a good linen blend as well. This will sell really well this time of year. And then this is something I'd probably just hold off until the, uh, until the winter or fall, because it's got like a tweed, I'd call it like a tweed. Um, and this again is Miller's Oath. I've never heard of that company, but I simply just looked up the comps and the comps were really good on it. Made in the USA, good company, has a super good feel. They were all together, obviously. They're probably all the same fit, all came from the same person. So all that time today, how much did I make? How much will I make? Obviously, like I said, if I could find a couple items like those, that would be great. That would be easy to list, but that's just not the way it goes. I have to hit a lot of thrift stores to get a lot of stuff. So I spent $190. I think conservatively, I'll be able to sell everything here for around $1,000. Everything here, I added up, it was like $956 for everything, and that's conservative. Um, so deduct the cost of goods, we're at about $700 and something, and then you take 13% away with the eBay fees. We're looking at probably about $670 net profit. So net would be profit in my pocket after all these items. So that's what a day looks like for me. I appreciate you guys coming along with me. Again, shout out to Monster. If it wasn't for Monster, I wouldn't have the go-go to do it. I'll see you in the next one.